Hi, this is Devon Matchat, where we talk all things life, cruise and travel. Today, we're here to talk to you about the Royal Caribbean app. Whilst all cruise ships have an app, today we want to give you three hot tips on how to use the app and what things that we've learned over our time and how great this thing is. Yeah, this is a really brilliant app. So we're going to uh, jump right into it. And if I jump over here now to this screen, uh, open the app up. You can see here, main screen, really nice and easy app to use, very clear and easy to navigate. Mm -hmm. You've got three tab uh, icons across the top in the middle here. This top one is one of the key features we will talk about, one of our first tips. If I tap on it in this top right corner, it won't open for us right now, um, but, and it's not going to open for me at all. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. You can say it says here at the moment, stay connected during your cruise. So when you're connected to your Wi-Fi, this uh, uh, window here is your chat function. Mm -hmm. So you can search for people that are on the cruise ship and add them. Mm -hmm. You can also, um, it'll automatically add your cruise party. So anyone that is connected to your booking will come into this and you'll be able to chat with them on the Wi-Fi. The great thing about this is that you don't have to book the internet package unless your kids are under 13. If they're under 13, they can't have their own uh, no, account. they can't have an app at all. So that's why we've chosen, and you may have seen in our past videos, that we chose to actually um, purchase the Wi-Fi packages just so because our son is under 13 at the moment. Um, so cannot wait for him to get to that age. So then we don't actually have to have that. So, yep. um, But what a great thing that um, you don't have to worry about it on board. So that's, yeah. you know, number one tip that is... Really, really important. Yeah, so free free chat app within the Royal Caribbean app, really handy. Uh, we use, as uh, Deb said, we don't use the app for chatting with our young fella. We use the uh, kids messenger and we pay for the internet package. And that's just the restriction of the cruise line. Now, there's another three icons across the top here. There is this one here, which gives you a, uh, the ability on the left here, the little ship icon. You can pull up deck. Uh, deck maps of the ship. So, so if you, you can, get lost, if you get lost, you can <laughs> find where away. you're going. Uh, so you can see deck four, deck five. So you can find all your different restaurants and things like that. Um, the accommodation decks all go through with room numbers, as you can see from forward to aft. And then when you get up into the higher decks on ships like Quantum of the Seas, which we'll be going on again soon, you can also find your different restaurants, the solarium mm -hmm. and other activities up there. So the other thing you've got here is it gives you this essentials section. Uh, and in this essentials section, uh, you've got your excursions, the dining section, beverages, and internet packages. So this is where you can start to purchase things. There's also the things to do section. Uh, if you want to go in, you can go to the spa. Now, what it will first do is it'll come up with an a overview of the venue so you can see the Vitality Spa. Mm -hmm. Or if I just quickly go to Fitness... You can see fitness center or the running track. But if I go back to the spa for a moment, if we wanted to, we slide across here and you can start to see the different offerings, the different uh, packages that you have to purchase. Um, so if you want to do something um, like, I don't know, um, let's find a, a men's shave. There's men's services here. So we've got the, the uh, express shave. If I wanted to book the express shave, you know, I'd be able to go in there and there's the reserve now button. We don't want to do that though, but that's uh, tip number two is you can book your services, anything you want to do, extra activities while you're here. Um, if we go back to this main screen as well, this is your main calendar screen. And so you can also book activities from here. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. And this is really cool because before you get onto the ship, it also starts to show you a list of activities that are going on. So what was that about? Uh, was it two weeks out? <clears throat> uh, no, the the <laughs> full list of um, what's going on on the ship will load uh, right before or right when you get on board and you actually connect to the oh, Wi-Fi. Okay, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> so, but what you get beforehand is you get all the other activities. So if I tap on day two here, for example, you can see there is a list of bookable activities mm. here already. So the Flow Rider activities, the iFly. The Royal Society of Puzzles, which is the um, uh, the the escape room. But if I go to one of our upcoming port days, so if I look at like Vila here, for example, and you can see here, you can also book your shore excursions through this. So if we wanted to go horse riding on this day, again, there's the reserve button. It gives you the pricing. As you can see, we're in Australia. 
So these are priced in Australian dollars. If you're in the US, it, or it would be in uh, US dollars. Yeah, big tip that um, booking these things before you get on board. We've I think we've said it a number of times. Once you get on board, this converts to US dollars. So do whatever you can before you get on board is just a really hot tip. Um, I think we've said it so many times, but again, we'll just say it. Look at these prices compared to what they would be when you're on board, um, and you're so much better off. Yeah, and one of the things, so down the bottom as well, there's this other little bit of navigation. So you can come down if you tap on like the, the drinks package on, so you can see here the drinks package is in there. There's the alcoholic beverages package. You've also got the scroll across the top there, slide across the top. The different uh, non-alcoholic beverage packages are there as well. So we can see all those. And if, again, we want to book those, we can book those right here in the app, which is pretty impressive. So it makes it very easy. Now, Deb, Star Water. Yes. Here's the here's what I think's the third tip. Okay. For this video. Okay. The third tip for this video is we went and saw Star Water, which is a production show mm -hmm. on Quantum of the Seas. Uh one of the it's one of the longest running shows that they've had. It's fantastic. Absolutely mm -hmm. magnificent show. Yeah. And I think we should book it again. Absolutely. Absolutely. This so, is definitely gonna book that. And while we're doing it, we can show these awesome people that are watching the video today. Thank you. Please make sure you do <laughs> like and subscribe. We uh, slowly growing the travel the channel, and we really do appreciate the support Absolutely. we're getting. Uh, you'll see that we do try and get back to all the comments. So please, if you've got any further questions, ask them in the comments. But let's go down here. We're in the daily planner section, and I know that there's a couple of days here where there is the Star Water show. So I'm just going to scroll through Royal Society of Puzzles, and there you can see Star Water. Now, we like to do the show a little bit later or a little bit early. What do we want to do on this day? Well, normally we, we do dinner about 8 o'clock, so I would probably do the 6 o'clock show. The 6.30 show? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we're going to tap on the, the show here. Now, it actually doesn't really matter too much. The key thing is on that previous page was the, the fact that it was showing you what times those activities were on. And as I said, when the, you're on the ship connected to the ship's Wi-Fi, all the other activities, all the other shows... Everything else will actually drop into the calendar. All your as well. trivias and um, scavenger hunts, hunts and whatever it may be. That's all it. your kids' timetables as well. They're all in there. Yep. So let's book this, the Star Water show. So we click reserve now. And as you can see here, we can actually select who we're booking for on this show, on this uh, booking. Are we going to do all of us? Are we going to take Noah? Um, yep, absolutely. He, he, he loved, loved it. it. <laughs> he loved it. So we're going to include him in that. So we'll click next. And we're going to pick our day because so it gives you the option again to pick the day. So we could even go to day eight if we wanted to, or did we say day eight or did we say day six? Let's oops, go back. Oops, I stuffed that up. Let's go day six. Day six. Rather than the last night. So day six is our day in Vila. So we're going to book the 6.30 show. So you can see here we've selected day six. Got the two times down the bottom there, 6.30 or 8.30. We're going to select the 6.30 time. Now, if this was a paid activity, like one of the shore activities, we actually would be asked here, it would confirm the price. It would ask us to confirm uh, our payment details. If you've got a card saved into the profile, it will mm -hmm. ask you to just confirm that card. Uh, and then you click the, I have a, uh, I've read and agreed to the terms and conditions. But luckily you, enough, this one was actually a show that's included. So, yeah. you know, make sure you get along and see these shows that um, are actually included in your fare. Yeah, and that they're free, particularly ones like this that are free and included, yeah, yeah as you said. So that's done. You can see it's confirmed there. So if we close out of that, now one of the things that will happen, and if we just scroll back so you're familiar again with this front screen here, you can see it says Daily Planner, but there's also a My Calendar function. So on day six... It, and it takes sometimes about 15 minutes to show, yeah, but it's come instant. straight in. You can see here, Star Water has been reserved. Now, if you have any bookings, whether it's the free activities that you just flag that you're interested in, or you've got shore tours or booked. Or dining. That, and the shore, all the dining. Yeah. Um, if you've got specialty dining booked, those bookings will all appear in the app, and they'll appear in the app for anyone that's attending those things. The other thing, if we go back to day one, and if I scroll through to about 11 o'clock in the morning, you can see here we've also got the guest safety briefing. So get on and do your guest safety briefing straight away. You do need to watch through these videos and it logs in the background that you've actually watched these uh, so that when you go and sign in uh, at your muster station, it'll tell you. 
Anyway, there you go. That's a really quick overview of the Royal Caribbean app, how to use it, how to make a booking, uh, a couple of key points in there. We yeah. hope you find it useful. Thank you. See ya.